like if your child was dying from an easily cured disease simply because the medication to treat them wasn't available in your community. To millions of people in this world, that horrific scenario is a reality. And this is what Doctors Without Borders attempts to prevent. They reach out to the world providing emergency medical care to whoever needs their assistance. Within the infamous 1952 novel, The Diary of a Young Girl, written by Anne Frank, she writes, no one has ever become poor by giving. I believe this to be the philosophy that Doctors Without Borders lives by. And this brings me to what I want to talk to you about today, which is what Doctors Without Borders does, who they help, and a little bit about their history. Let's begin by talking about what they do. The main thing Doctors Without Borders does is they provide emergency medical care to whoever needs it. They also attempt to remain neutral by avoiding any political, military, or religious agendas encompassing the nation that they're trying to help. They also spread awareness. Doctors Without Borders recently updated website reported that they reserve the right to speak out and bring attention to neglected crises worldwide. They do this through political means, through passing legislator, um, performing protests, and other things of that nature. They also focus on benefiting others and not themselves. Charity Navigator reporter updated earlier this year reported that in 2011, 86% of their donations received went directly into program funding, not including both fundraising and administrative expenses. Now let's move on to talking about who they help. There are thousands of people involved. Doctor Without Borders website states that on any given day, 27,000 people are out in the world trying to make a difference. They assist those recovering from natural disasters. New York Times article, A Worsening Haitian Tragedy, published less than a month ago, showed that Doctors Without Borders is still currently in Haiti, providing disaster relief from the 2010 earthquake that devastated the area. They also help those suffering from epidemics. This helps both the people who are inflicted with the epidemic and neighboring communities because they stop the diseases rampage. They also help those who are in war zones. 2012 New York Times article, Doctor Group in Syria, stated Doctor Without Borders was one of the few groups allowed, with, allowed in the country at that point in time. They helped both rebels and civilians alike throughout their civil war. And this is just a photo of them within Haiti providing relief. Now let's move on to talking about a little bit of their history. In 1971, Medicine San Frontieres was founded, and that's the overarching organization. This was founded in France by French doctors and journalists. And then later on in 1990, the USA section was opened. It was opened in New York City, and it was the first non-European section. Later on in 1999, Doctors Without Borders was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize. As quoted from the official Nobel Peace Prize website, updated earlier this year, they were honored for their pioneering humanitarian work on several continents. And they're currently still out in the world. Right now, they're in over 120 countries. I'd like to conclude this speech by reviewing what I've talked about today, which is what Doctors Without Borders does, who they help, and a little bit about their history. This organization is particularly close to my heart simply because I one day hope to be a doctor, and maybe one day I could be on the Doctors Without Borders crew, going out in the world making a difference. For as Anne Frank said, no one has ever become poor by giving. Thank you for your time. <laughs>